<laughs> what do you think of me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what did you think of me when we first met? Oh. Well, I only know you from netball and you were playing with Magic and True. I was with the Vixens back in 2014. So yeah. I so I just remember you being like so tough and strong and fierce on court and I thought <laughs> that's the way you were off the court. But I don't actually remember when we like really became close off the court. Yeah, probably diamonds. Well, yeah. That's the only time we met yeah. in real life. <laughs> in real life, not netball life. Yeah. Yeah. But I liked you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> okay. Has your impression of me changed since we first met? A hundred percent. I think it has changed because I think I always saw you um, on court. Yes. And I think once I got to know you a bit more, you were like goofy, nerdy, and you like <laughs> to have fun. Um, thanks. <laughs> I think similar for you. I think I always saw you as this netballer who was so like almost mean on board like <laughs> but then you're the nicest person that I know so oh, yeah have you ever left me on red after a bad loss <laughs> <laughs> I usually just delete your number block you no contact delete snapchat Instagram everything um yeah nah I'm not like that really no. I feel like we just keep rolling we've got a group chat with Jamie myself and Gretel and the amount of stuff that gets spoken in that <laughs> chat. It's like we just play each other and smash each other, but then we're best friends and love each other. Yeah, we actually just like take the mickey out of each other like after. I can tell you the full story. It's like Gretel and Jamie always bullying me. So it's like this little game that they play, like yeah, they gang up. So three yeah. three of the best friends really tough because one person always gets left out <laughs> and that's always me. Apparently it's always Liz. <laughs> it is. Um, I feel like we have like white line fever. Like we're yes. the bestest of friends and then once we hit the line, on the court, we literally yeah. like we go at it. Yeah, and I always come second best. Like, <laughs> no, no, sometimes I come second best. Because. Okay, what do you think the best part of my game is and why? Okay, I, first of all, I just want to add a bit of humor. I don't know if anyone has noticed how Liz runs, but Liz takes like the tiniest little steps. Like it's so efficient though. It's like this. Okay, so she's running, and it, instead of like striding out, she's like. Like they're like tiny little baby, like they're so cute. You know and what? Everyone in my club says that too. So but like, I think it's a common thing that I don't even know. You don't notice, but that like you will know it's Liz on the court just by the way she's. Yeah, everyone's gonna just watch the <laughs> yeah. Anyway, on a serious the time. note. <laughs> on a serious note, um, I think I really admire Liz. <laughs> Bit of a DM. Um, because <laughs> I think you are really good at manipulating the body of a defender um, I think you've got like a really good like one dodge and then you're gone or you're really good at, like front cutting um, and literally like you think you've like I literally think sometimes I've got her covered and the next minute like she's in front of me and you're like one of the most solid players like I you can't get around you it's so annoying but sometimes I just sit and watch you and like you literally don't stop. Like I, sometimes I watch you in diamonds and I'm like, you play every minute of every second of every quarter and you never whinge and you just are so confident in giving the ball and feeding. I don't know, Aww. it's just, Thanks, it's Jay. just <laughs> Well, I'm gonna talk about your game now. Um, I feel like you're one of the hardest to play on because Sometimes it looks like Jamie's doing nothing and she's just <laughs> floating down the court and then the next minute she's on circle edge. For example, the ball's coming long court. You think you've got her covered because on the side of the court. So you start looking for other things because you're like, I've got my player covered. Then next minute she's on top of the circle with the ball. So I think you've grown so much in your attacking game and been able to feed and be dominant in that. But wing defence, you are definitely, you kind of just get in and use your body and your booty. It's <laughs> really hard to get around. So, um, yeah, love playing with you more than against yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you were doing a scouting report on me, what would you say? Ooh. I'd say she's got great... I'm not going to say nipple IQ. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm smart. I think she's someone who will just give you everything. Like You you always go 100% for your team. Um, you're strong. Obviously, we, we know all that. <laughs> Everyone knows that in SSN, knows how strong you are. Um, but I think I love what you bring off the team and the... the environment you create the friendships you make people like you in a team 
just make it really fun. So I like all the off-court stuff that you bring. Um, I think I love that you lead not only on the court by your actions, but off the court. I feel like you're not one of those people that say a lot, but when you do speak, like everyone stops and they're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> That She's is so crazy. true. But like everything you say makes a lot of sense. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> you're the captain of the diamonds. <laughs> um, but I think you just inspire all of us. Um, I love that you can have a laugh. I love that you care about literally everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. And because you're such a big deal. Um, oh my God. So she's kind of a big deal. No, I love that. It <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but it doesn't matter like who you are, where you come from. You always treat everyone so equ equally and just as Aww, important. So, so 